Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and today I'm going to be reacting to Allah will give your heart the peace you are looking for. If you're new, welcome. If you want to um, chat with us, you can find us on Instagram and Facebook as Fanny and Jesse. You can check out my blog, um, <clears throat> Morning Coffee with Fanny, and just feel free to enjoy the content that I put out there. Um, don't shy away from suggesting something you want us to react to. Just drop it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to do it. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. I love you a Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam everything that he said was gold or even worth more than that. And there are several hadith that are all similar to this one that I'm about to mention. Some are longer, some are shorter. Let's go with the simplest version. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said that there are angels roving the earth flying around and they are looking for the gatherings in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is being remembered and mentioned. The gatherings where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is being mentioned may be like this gathering, we hope. How many angels are gathered around to know that you are sitting in a gathering that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is being mentioned and remembered? And they will reach to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Distances and numbers that are un unfathomable. And then something incredible will happen. And this is part of the seen and unseen benefits of sitting in a place where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is being mentioned and remembered. There are certain benefits that are tangible, that are seen. First of all, you might learn something new. Second of all, you might be reminded about something that you already know. But it's good to be reminded. Third, the angels are making dua for you for as long as you are there. And if nothing else, if nothing else, at least you are not in, in a haram environment. At least if you are sitting there against your will, and it's the last place you want to be, at least you're not in a haram environment. These are all tangible benefits. But it's the intangible benefits that are incredible and in which you will find the rest that you actually seek, that you can't get from music and shisha, and driving too fast, and partying too long, and being up all night, and girls and guys. There is no comfort there for you. In these gatherings, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will then send something down from Him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will pour will pour down onto those believers who are in that gathering His forgiveness, His mercy, and His Sakina. Sakina is a difficult word to translate into English with one word. It has so many meanings. Peace, rest, security, tranquility. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give the hearts rest that are in a place where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is being mentioned and remembered. Did Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ever lie? He never lied and we believe everything he said, the things we see and the things we can't see. And he said that in those gatherings, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send down upon the people sitting there, his sakina. This rest of the heart that you and I are looking for, that's where it is. That's where it is.
I don't really like talking about um, what I expect from videos because every time I expect something it's just the opposite of what I'm thinking that I actually watch or react to otherwise when it comes to peace this video was mostly um, about in gatherings where maybe it's a good place it's a bad place and peace this peace that but then when it comes to peace i like to think that it, it also depends it shouldn't just be limited to um gatherings even when you're alone sometimes you're seeking peace not because gatherings aside i'm just saying sometimes you seek peace but you can't find it is it uh, that room that confuses you sometimes is it that room that has bad memories for you and you're trying to figure out how can how you can maneuver through that sometimes I feel like if you're dependent on God for peace and everything else as long as you've acknowledged that whether that room has bad memories for you or not you're going to find it provided that you pray about it provided that you meditate on it provided that you actually face your fears and what's in that place you don't you don't have to throw yourself in bad situations black, bad places and expect to have peace because your morals may be corrupted if it's a room that you just feel like has a certain grip on you let go of that room find someone else go outside and seek peace in a neutral environment i don't know if i'm making sense let me know what you guys actually think if there's something that you guys want me to react to let me know by dropping the link in the comment section below and i'll be more than glad to react to it don't forget to like subscribe and everything else i'll see you in my next video